folks, welcome. It is the 21st of March 2019. I'm here in the studio and I'm just thinking I've got to have a firing. I've got so many pots lying around after the winter and I'm just looking. Let's go around and I'll just see what we've got. I've got to start organizing my life, organizing my this space, uh, clearing up the mess. So yeah, I've got some tankards here that are waiting. These are all going to be raw glazed. So I just got those there. I've got more tankards up here. Uh, up there. A few GP bowls up there. I should need to make more GPs. Got some stuff here on the table that's been look I've been looking at for for a long time now. I need to get that fired. These are the bud vases I just made, some of them. Um more tankers here in a differing state of, uh, of of hardness. They're drying off slowly. Um, what else? Yeah, I've got some more stuff over here left over from the last firing. So I've got that to deal with. Oh yeah, a few a few tankers there already glazed. And I got these guys here. I just made. I was just keeping them under. Plastic, some some more. Yeah, they can take the plastic out off now. Just let them. I want to bring them to a stage because uh, I want to put some slip on some of these. Um, I need to get. I need my red iron oxide slip. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah, red iron slip. I'm gonna need that. Ooh. I haven't had a firing in a couple of months. So, Saladin, yeah, all these glazes gonna need a good, a good stir up of course. My, my clear glaze, uh, that's all I've got left of that. So I'm gonna have to, that isn't gonna go very far, not for dipping anyway. And then I have here something, but the, the label, it's no longer readable. And I don't know what that is, so that'll probably have to be thrown out. That's always a good thing, something to remember. Make sure that you label clearly buckets, because I tell you, you mix up a glaze and you come back eight months later, nine months, a year later, and you think, you pull it out and you think, what on earth is this? <laughs> uh, here's a glaze, you see. Raku base glaze, all that fortunately is marked and on there as well. Not sure what that is. And that looks like oh, that's a Raku glaze too. Yeah. May 21st, 2012. Yeah. All right. So, very important to keep lids, keep lids on buckets, keep dirt and dust out. If you don't have a lid, put a bag, a bag over the top and mark it clearly, okay? Let me tell you, those are good tips. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I need a stool. I need a stool. So, actually, what I want to do is put some some white slip, and I've got some white slip here. I'm just reinvigorating so to speak because it's been um, there in, in, in the bucket so this is white slip which I had to I'm trying to let's just bring that over here touch see if we can get that focus down there yeah 
Yeah, by the way, if you ever go to uh, yard sales and things, um, these these uh, these these blenders and things, you know, I I I I collect them. I've got another one here. They're great for small batches of of of, of uh, glaze. Okay, I'll just point that in that direction. Um, clean that off in a minute. So yeah, I've got, so this is a white slip, and I'll show you. This particular white slip is made of um, white porcelain clay body, and then I've added about 15% felspar to it. Okay, so, and then. Some tea bowls that I made, some of these I kept back a bit. These guys, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm gonna do uh oh I meant to I haven't brought that one, I wanted to show you, I've got a, an example. Anyway, uh I wanna do a a hackamy type decoration on here which will basically act as a backdrop because then what I'm going to do is put over a, um, a clear, gla clear glaze and on top of that I then will do an iron oxide decoration. Sounds complicated but it, it isn't really. So I've got these, as you can see, these are a little bit like just sort of drying off from leather hard. Uh, some of them are getting a little whiter here. That's okay. Don't worry about that. And so I just want to just do some sort of like loose decoration with this white slip. Let me just show you some of the uh, the brushes and things that I'm probably going to use. Um, so I've got one of these, which I've kind of um, cut out with some scissors here on the end. Uh, I have a regular one of these type brushes which I've I've clipped with again with scissors you can do this uh, you know you haven't got to buy fancy brushes for this kind of thing basically you, you just want to take a pair of scissors like this and you just want to cut out some of these so you don't get it you get a bit of break in the in the way the the slip is applied, we, we're looking. You see that you got a few gaps there. We're looking for a streaky, a streaky type of effect. If you know what I mean. So, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I haven't done any of this for a while, so it should be fun and games. <laughs> Just point this in the general direction down there. So, oh yeah, and I got this brush, which I didn't show you, um, which is, ooh, yeah. So this is a homemade brush made up of um, bris bristly little twiglet things here. Then that. Here's a tip, before you apply wet, wet the brushes. Before you dip them in there because 
Otherwise, because this is dry and that's wet, it just stick to it like claggy mud. If you wet it first, it won't do that. Not nearly so bad. Okay. Well, good. Thanks for joining us. Let's see if we can do something here. Over in the picture there, we. All right. I mean, I'll see if I can do this in front of the camera. It's not not recommended to do that. So we we stirred that up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this brush. Look, here's some water because this is already we've wet it, haven't we? So what you could do, you get an idea just by, by doing that. Taking one of these, maybe a drier one, you'll see better. You'll get an idea, okay, as we just sort of do a, you see that? That's just with the water. So that's giving you an idea. We want some nice grasses, don't we? Something like that, you see? So as I'm going to apply this slip now, and we, we'll see what happens. Don't overload the brush when you do this. Okay, so there it is. Let's see what, what let's see what happens. Be bold, okay? Don't be frightened. Just remember, there's not a right way and a wrong way. It's your way. Do it. Don't be frightened of it. Yeah. So this is going to act as a, a, a backdrop, you see. Some nice long grasses in the, in the field there. Yeah, don't have it too heavily loaded. Be careful of drips like that. Turn it upside down when you've done it, if in case you have a, a gathering of drips that wants to run all the way down. I mean, yeah, if they do run down, well, you can wipe them off, of course. All right, so... Yeah? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with this brush at the minute. Uh, I like the random, you know, like the random nature of it. Just keep it free, you know, don't, don't be too stiff. Yeah, you've got to take the bull by your horns when you do this kind of thing, you know, don't be too self-conscious about it. I mean, it is what it is, you know, sometimes you can't really control it down to the fine. But that's okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like we've got a, like a, a, a backdrop that's going to be, well I mean a backdrop, I mean a, a, like a background, you know. Dee, 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 dee. Maybe we'll do it. So you can make a more just straight vertical like that. Dee, 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 dee. Whoa, look at that, beautiful. You see? Yeah. So. Now you'll find when you're doing this kind of thing, you'll suddenly get an idea in your head. You suddenly think, oh, I wonder if 
such and such. Well, I wonder if I did such and such. Like I'm just seeing over here. I was just making some sponge sticks, and I have a bit of a bit of this left over. So you know, uh, made me think. And maybe. You do things, you've got, you've got to, you know. Take a gamble. Sometimes you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. Maybe. I'm just going to. Just going to cut this a little bit. Reduce the size of that. Okay, we'll just dip it in here. There it is. Now then, I don't know what this is going to look like. But... Yeah, may have possibilities. Don't don't overload it, you see. Don't overload it. Don't overload the sponge. It's very important, I think, to you know, when you get a little idea in your mind about decoration or a creative idea, let's say. To, to to follow it through. Oops. You see what I've done? I've made a splash. But we're not going to worry about that. No, we are not indeed. Maybe I've got enough on there already. Uh, let me see if you can see what I'm doing. So there's a bit of sponge. Yeah, you might. You see, at the end of the day, those splashes I just did then by by accident, <laughs> they they could be the life and soul of the party. You see. Sort of little diamonds, aren't they? Coming round now to the other side. Coming round the corner. So yeah. I guess we're going to get just one in there, aren't we? Sometimes you have to learn to space, space them out a bit, you see. So if there are any tendencies to, where it's a bit heavy to drip down, just, just hold it upside down the other way a bit like that. Yeah. Now don't worry about being absolutely neat and tidy and you're worried about everything's got to look just perfect. Don't be like that. But you'll find, as I said to you just then, you'll find that they, those, little, those little splashes you see could be the life and soul of the party. And um, actually Let's let's do do some more of these. When you use a white slip like this, you find that it when it dries it's really quite white, you know. You do need a kind of transparent glaze to go over this, you see, because you want to be able to see this on the background of the clay. So you want a, 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 a glaze that goes over it that is, is fairly transparent. 
So I have a recipe for a transparent glaze from my good friend Greg. You listening, Greg? <laughs> de -de 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 -de. Yeah. Beautiful. What could be better? Diamonds are forever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Diamonds are forever. Yeah, don't worry about... In fact, I might even come along afterwards and do a little flickety flickety flick, you know. Let's do another one of these. Let's get it a little bit more. So you can be creative. You've got to do just one thing. Just try, try different, something different. Let's let's do. I don't know. I don't know. Don't worry about it. Just do it. You see, that's the thing. Don't get precious about your pots because if you get too precious about your pots, you're going to be too worried about making a mistake. You're not going to be able to. Get out there and be be bold, you see. It takes a bit of boldness, doesn't it? It takes a bit of courage just to get out there, get that brush and put it on your... That's why I'm saying make a lot of pots and then you won't be, you won't be so... Pesky precious about them. Yeah. Because you'll find, you know, when you're doing this kind of thing, you'll... You will find that you'll do a few and you think, nah, uh -uh, that does not work. Do not like that. Okay, well, well, at least you tried it. At least you tried it. Okay. Gonna get a bit more of a twirl twist on this one. See, like that. Get a bit more of a swirl. More of a swirl. So that's got a little bit more of a uh, sideways movement, a little bit more of a more movement in it maybe. Always leave room, you know. It isn't the be all and the end all of this pot, what I'm doing with it now right now. This is just part of what will be the finished And as I say, this is actually, this isn't really the main decorative feature of the pot. This is just the background that you're doing now. Onto which you're going to put the, the, the brushwork after the, the glaze. Come on, we've got to do another one of those with the... Dee -dee 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 -dee. Maybe let's get another piece of sponge. A few pieces of that over here. So now what I'm doing, I'm looking at it and thinking, because this actually does work, doesn't it? Reasonably well. So I'm cutting that and what I'm trying to do is to cut what will be in my mind a circle it's not the easiest thing to cut
Yeah. I don't know if I've done a very good job of that, I'll be honest. Okay. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Now let's do... Let's see if we could... If we do some random dotting. Yeah, if you overload it, it will have a tendency to. You need something like that, what I'm doing here, just to dab it, just to maybe. Maybe it's best to do it sort of in the vertical, otherwise, it will run down the side. Yeah, keep it a little loose, a little free, don't get too tight. Okay, well this one's got a little bit of a wavy rim on it. That was one of the ones I demonstrated, if you remember, while I was banging it with my finger. Okay, alright, well there you go, those are those. That is some examples of, just in a limited way, what you, you can do, you know, by... following that creative nudge and you come up with a, a new idea. I didn't use the, this, this one in, that, in this case. Okay folks, uh, I hope that was inspiring to you, helpful to you. Um, yeah, the key, the key is, the key thought I'd like you to take away is be inventive, follow an idea that you might have in your mind about how to decorate, how to do this kind of thing. Um, it won't all, it, they won't all work, but you know they can they can be very successful actually. And that's how you sort of build a repertoire of different designs because you remember the ones that work and the ones that don't work and repeat the ones that work of course. Okay, thanks a lot folks. Go to my website simonleachpottery.com. Join us for a workshop if you feel inspired to do so. Keep practicing workshops. They're on my website. Go there and have a look. There's a date that you like, that you fancy, then write to me. Quite a few openings through the year, you know. I think there's about 19 workshops up there. Um, well, don't whatever you do subscribe uh, <laughs> oh gosh I hate that when people at the end don't forget to subscribe and do 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 oh shut up <laughs> go away yeah you can subscribe if you want to uh, if you want to click that bell hit the bell thing you know bing at the top right if you fancy, you know, if you don't, well don't, it's fine. Um, what else? 